Hey y'all, Novi here. Today I will be showing you how I've been making a ton of money this wipe. Basically, I've been scavenging streets and looting Lexos and a couple other places. I'll show you all the good spawns. Let's get right into it. So we are here next to Lexos. And you can go in there and loot the saves if you know how with Tarbank, but that's not what we're going for here today. So basically, the good loot is actually on the far side of Lexos. However, there are a couple of really good medical spawns on this side. So in here on this couch, sometimes you can find a Ledex. I have seen it before um, and definitely stims and stuff. As you saw, we got a Saliwa, not the best, but also not the worst as well. But basically check both of these couches, stuff can spawn, rubles not worth. I actually do check this sometimes. Um, and yeah, so Aqua Peps are really good. They're about 20K per slot, which is about what I've been looking for. 20K, 10 to 20K per slot is generally what we want when we are doing loots. I would definitely uh, loot the technical supply crate. Most of these things are worth a ton right now. So scissors are decent. WD-40, not really worth looting. Same with duct tape. Bulbex, that's like 40K a slot. Very, very, very good. So yeah, so we're gonna run to the other side and I'll show you where the best loot is. Looks like we have a fellow scavy boy. Sometimes you can find Ledexes in there. Uh, for now, we will go over to the high value spawns. So on the, these shelves, it looks like they're already looted, but on these shelves, you can have very high value loot items such as roosters, vases, anything like that. And then in here, uh, stems will spawn. Again, this is the, probably the highest value loot, so people will loot this early on, so it's hard to get there first. However, that's not really a big deal because you can still fill up on items that are worth almost as much uh, in this place and I'll show you where. So this is like the important part, looting when the most common loot spots are completely looted. Uh, one thing real quick is generally I almost always find a weapon or two in these crates. So it can be very useful to check uh, this crate and then also the crate up there. We'll take the MOE for now. I don't think it's actually usually worth looting, but let's see. Yeah, I think we're just gonna find weapon parts here. Yeah, nothing too good there. That uh, handguard might be good, but over here you can. There's like six tool chests, and absolutely insane loot can come from these. It's worth so much, especially early wipe. So uh, let's see what we get here. Bolts like 20k. Wires are also 20k. Duct tape is not 20k. I do loot the duffel bags as well. I think they're usually worth it. Sometimes you can get really good stuff from them. We'll put the high value loot items down here. Xenomorph a lot of times can be 80k, sometimes it's 40k, it just sort of depends, but uh, if you sell it at the right times, it can sell for extremely high amounts. So Nixer lenses are about 60k as well, they sell very well. Then in the back here, you'll find another, another duffel bag, and as you can see, there's a hand drill, though that's not really worth looting. Fuel condenser is about 20k a slot. Relays, I can't actually remember, I think they're okay though, I don't think they're too bad. And then there's a toolbox on these tires. Metal parts are about 10k, I don't actually pick them up very often. Tool sets have been about 100k for most of the time, and the nuts are like 6k, definitely worth, not worth it. I think metal parts can be around 20k, it just sort of depends on the day. Oh, we already alluded that, my bad guys. So then we have another tool chest over here. And these tool chests, guys, are basically never looted. I mean, it's basically free, free loot, everyone goes for the high value stuff, but this is really uh, higher value, I mean, bulbs are about 20k, M scissors again, decent though not the best, I don't think. Uh, mainly because in most of the crafts that M scissors are used for, uh, they get reused, so you don't need infinite of them to keep crafting stuff. Thermometers are pretty good. I don't think pliers are worth that much. And then if you go around here, there's actually another tool chest in this container. Uh, I don't think spark plugs are worth very much. And then in one of the trunks, I think, of one of the cars, there may actually be something, but I don't remember which one, so we're going to ignore it. Uh, in here, I don't think, sometimes you can find like good IFAX and stuff in that, those containers. Uh, you could loot, you know, if you're not full, you could loot the filing cabinets if you want. Sometimes that's worth it. They're pretty good. Uh, and usually if you get like flash drives and stuff like that from filing cabinets, there's not really anything up there. It's just ammo. Uh, and then uh, I don't remember in here. I think it's the same. It's just some med spawns uh, and a jacket. You can sometimes find like good stuff on there. Oh yeah, and then sometimes like w rare weapons parts will spawn there. Okay, so other than this, let's go loot the med spawn building and then I'll show you a couple other places where you can find good loot. So you can actually get in here just by looking down. Oh, now I'm just stuck. 
Uh, if you just like look down, it's a little bit wonky. I don't know why it's so bad, but okay. As March, this is probably all looted, but I'll just, I'll show you the spots where stuff can spawn and I don't really worry. This doesn't look, syringes do sell for a lot. I think they could sell like for 50 K sometimes. Morphine's not bad, it's about 15k. I don't remember with the toilet paper, so we're gonna leave it for now. I think Lettuces can spawn there. Uh, and then, whoops, also right there. And then there's also a med spawn uh, back here behind the curtain and right here and in the corner. So definitely lots of good places for spawns. I think we are about done. I think Nacla actually sells for about 20k now. So also another good uh, money per slot item. Oh my good. Sometimes I just lie down. Um, so you can find various stuff around here. And if you're not full at this point, you have a choice. You can either go in here and spend a bunch of time looting cabinets. Uh, as you can see, there's one set right there, two sets right there, a duffel bag, and then up here, there's a ton as well. I mean, you can basically fill up just from the cabinets. There's two sets right there, one set right there, and then up here as well, there uh, are two sets back there. So definitely a ton of cabinets in here to loot. And I pretty much no one ever loots all those. So uh, basically free loot if you want it. However, another good spot where you can loot items is that building right there. It's Concordia. I think it's the new Concordia buildings is what people are saying. So you're gonna run over here. There are mines like near the street, so I'd be careful. And we're gonna go into that building right there for some stim spawns and then around back for some other spawns as well. So in here, you can find sim spawns and just the various things. We'll throw out our as marches, use that. Coolio, what is that? Oh, those are the as marches, Elyong. And you can find food and stuff as well back here. Um, but generally I'll find some stims, which can be worth quite a bit. Then we'll run back here through the building, turn right. That's a good sign that the door is closed, I think. You know, that means no one's been here. We can shoot the window, run out and run back here. Yeah, it's definitely a good sign when the doors are closed. I think they uh, start that way. So the valuables may actually still be here. These are looted pretty commonly. People have made videos on these spawns before, so it's nothing new. But basically at this, you're gonna turn right and then turn, you can find drinks here. So we could like drink this milk real quick. So, and here is the valuable loots. So there can be, there's a good spawn like right here. And in between the things, as you see, there was a chain link. You'll find all uh, sorts of food items over here. And then in here, we have really valuable loot spawns. So you can see there's a gold skull right there. Uh, apparently, sometimes like Intel or something spawns on the desk. I've never seen it though. May as well check the PC, but probably won't find anything good. Um, in here, there is a spawn in the in the suitcase, as you can see, we got a, a military cable from that. And then PS ammo, and sometimes like an Obdalbo stim will spawn there. And same over here in this box, you can also get stims though it looks like uh, money spawn this time. And then other, that's pretty much all for those two rooms. And then over here, uh, nothing special, but again, a couple more toolboxes, which honestly like early loot is just, it's, it's, the, it's some of the best, or early wipe is some of the best loot. I literally can't talk man. It just sells for so much. So T plugs, bulbs are worth 20K. And then over here, hoses are worth a lot. And then as we already said, toolkits are worth a ton as well. So let's throw out some stuff that doesn't look like it's worth too much. Move that there, move that there. And let's see what else can we throw out. Grenades aren't worth much. Hopefully we won't need to use it. <laughs> Um, I think we can jump down without breaking a leg, but I'm not going to risk it just definitely because we're heavier than, uh, you know, normal. Okay. So now there actually isn't, uh, there is actually an extract over here. So we will continue running towards Concordia. There's a room in that building that is almost never looted and it can have GPU spawns and a couple other things. Also the collapsed crane area, that's a good place for toolboxes to make money. It's basically free money. No one ever loots everything on this map. So, um, but yeah, the room is over here and basically you have to jump across to get to it. I'll attempt to make the jumps a couple times. Hopefully I'll make it first try, we'll see. 
And you do have to shoot out a couple of windows as well. So we'll shoot that, shoot that. Looks like it's already been shot, so someone's probably already looted, looted this, but that's okay. So you jump there. Oh, we jumped too far. <laughs> Oops. All right, give me a sec, boys. There we go, we made it. Okay, so in here, you can find a tech spawn here, uh, and then along this wall, I think there's some stuff, and then on this table as well. This room is definitely already looted, which is fine. And then you can find like med spawns in here. And yeah, that's basically the entire loot run. Um, pretty good, we're completely full. If you're not full, you can again, run over to Collapse Crane and loot the stuff in there. But let's get to Extract, and I'll show you a total of how much we made from it. So yeah, over here is the sewer manhole. Uh, and again, quick and easy loot run. This is how I've been making money this way, but I haven't been doing money runs on my PMC. I find this easier. Um, and yeah. So I'm gonna sell everything on the flea market and I'll meet you when I'm done. Okay, y'all, I just finished selling all of the items that I got from the scab raid. Plus we got 75,000 from the wallet that we found and then I sold the bottom of, bottle of vitamins and a couple other things to uh, traders just to speed it up. So anyways, let us see how much we got. Right now we're at 7,200,000. And then from that raid, we were up to 7,800,000. So 600,000 raid with not really any big ticket items. Very, very effective way of making money, guys. I don't have to worry about money at all this wipe. Uh, it takes basically nothing, very easy to do. Highly suggest if you have gear fear, um, try doing this run. Just make, you know, get over a million, get over two million, get over five million. Your gear fear will go away eventually because your gear won't matter. You can always replace it. You can do this run forever. Uh, and this should just make you feel better about gear in general. Uh, and, and you'll feel good playing the game because you won't care if you die to a cheater. It just doesn't matter. So other than the time you lose uh, loading a trade. But anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I definitely think that the game is more fun when you don't have to worry about money. And yeah, so thank you for watching y'all. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And uh, feel free to go to my next video. I'll have one linked in the at the end of the video. So yeah, thanks for watching y'all and I'll see you next time.